So you're very welcome to the course. By the time you complete this course, you will have a, you will have well greatly enhanced your understanding of the direct stiffness method for one, but you'll also have built a, a really solid workflow that allows you to analyze uh, different types of 3D structures, 3D framed structures. Now, as you'd expect, a course like this is broken up into sections uh, where you know we focus on implementing a, a specific feature or accomplishing a particular task, uh, but at a higher level than, the, than that, above the sort of section by section break and you can think about the course as being made up of pretty much two parts. In the first part of the course, which is from sections two to seven, our aim is to cover the essential theory required to move from 2D analysis to 3D analysis. And we're also gonna focus on capturing the behavior of our 3D beam element within a 12 by 12 stiffness matrix. Now, with this under our belt, we're gonna focus on modeling a simple 3D structure and implementing a, you know, a basic solver. The reasoning here is that I want to get a fully functioning solver functioning from start to finish before we start layering on additional features and additional complexity. So you can think of the this first part of the course as being our first development cycle. Now the second part of the course, which is basically all sections from eight onwards, we're, we're going to be adding the bells and whistles basically. Now each subsequent section can be thought of as a new development cycle where we're going to sweep through our code from start to finish and make the edits and changes that we need need to implement whatever the new feature is. So you'll notice that I haven't actually said how many sections are in this sort of notional second part of the course. Now this is because there, there may be many features that we'll ultimately end up adding uh, to this solver within this course, uh, above and beyond what I've written for the course release. But at the course release, we're at the very least going to be implementing pin jointed members. So these are axially loaded members within our frame structures to help us model bracing elements, axially loaded bracing elements. We're going to implement pinned beam elements. So that's a beam element with a pin on either end, a rotational pin. And we're also going to implement distributed loading. So with these three additional sort of development cycles, these three additional features, we'll have massively increased or expanded the functionality of our solver. So that's the general plan so far. Uh, I suppose you'd say watch this space uh, for potential future additions to the course, which of course you'll have access to within this course at no extra, no extra cost. Now, the ultimate goal of a course like this is that you get to the end of it and you don't need me really to walk you through implementing new features. When you get to the end of this course, you'll have the confidence and the ability to implement whatever new features you like yourself, more or less. Uh, so for example, one, one of the things that, uh, that, that came to mind uh, you know, when I was wrapping up this course was, you know, it would be great if you wrote uh, some code that calculated the stresses within each of your elements. So it could be the axial stresses, it could be the normal stresses due to bending or a combination of those stresses. Uh, and you could represent those uh, within your solver uh, using a heat map. Now, you could go a step further than that and you could implement a stress threshold and get your solver to highlight um, any elements that exceeded that stress threshold. That would be a really useful addition. The point is, when you get to the end of the course, you will be able to implement that yourself. You should be able to implement it yourself. You won't really need me to walk you through it, even though I might come back later on and implement something like that within the course. So hopefully that gives you uh, some motivation uh, to get started with the course and to stick with it all the way to the end. Um, before we get started on the course proper, uh, in the next lecture, I'm just going to say a few words on what you should have ideally covered uh, before starting this course.